Hey guys, Lonely Block here, and today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video on the U80 smartwatch. But the price is unbelievable. It is seven dollars US. If you don't believe me, I'll put a picture on the screen. If you don't live in the US, it's what I paid ten bucks for it plus dollar insurance in case it gets lost in the mail. So I paid twelve bucks in total for that because taxes and everything. So twelve bucks for this smartwatch. If you live in the US, it's seven bucks plus another dollar insurance. So if you want faster shipping, it's another two dollars. So this thing is extremely cheap. Let's just hope it's worth the ten dollars. If it even turns on and tells the time, <laughs> that's worth the ten dollars to me. All right, just slides right off. Guys, keep in mind, it didn't come with any tape. I haven't opened it yet. It just didn't come with any tape on the box. So here's all the specs. So yeah, let's just get to it. Okay, well, there's the watch. You know what? This manual is probably worth the $10 to me. Well, there's all that. I really don't care. All right, here's the $10 smartwatch, or $7. Let's call it the $7 smartwatch because the majority of you probably live in the US. All right, so that's... That's literally all that's inside the box. Hello, darkness, my old friend. There's not even a charging brick. I guess I did only pay 10 bucks for this, so I get what I pay. I've come to talk with you again. Alright, and by the way, guys, the uh, box was all damaged when I received it. Okay, so it looks like the picture looks. Ooh, is that broken? Hello, darkness. It's only 10 bucks. Calm down, Chris. I probably ripped that off anyways. There's the backing. The backing looks really weird. I'm not sure if I like it. Can it turn on? It's not seeming to turn on. Maybe I have to charge it. Hello, All right, guys, I'm gonna be turning it on for the first time. There we go. Welcome. Oh, that was fancy. And there it is. Screen actually looks really good quality. I'm gonna use it for a day and then come back and give you guys a review. Okay guys, so I've been using it for about a full day. Well, actually more than a day now. It is Saturday night and I got it yesterday morning, right after I did the Pepsi video. This is the watch. You can see the battery is like that. After charging it this morning, it's only at about a little bit used, even though I've been using it a lot today. So the battery life is actually really good. The battery life may be better than the Asus Zen watch. Doesn't charge as fast as the Asus Zen watch did, but it charges fairly quickly. The screen is actually very bright. This is on the very first setting. It goes brighter than my phone right now, which is very surprising since it is only 10 bucks. Although the Asus Zen watch could play games, this one, I don't think it can because it is only $7 but or $10 wherever you live. But it has a bunch of options that you can get. It has anti-loss so you can buzz up your phone or the watch. It has a bunch of tools so you can go to a calendar and find the day. It has an alarm for the morning if you have school. It has a calculator that works really well. These are the rest of the settings. It has a battery save mode. You can view your text messages from the phone and it also alerts you when you get a text message or notification, but you cannot text or reply from the watch itself. It does not have a keyboard built in. So you're gonna have to pull out your phone and text from it, which is okay because it is $7. You can play music from the watch, which the speakers are actually very loud and the mic is very decent. You can control your camera and you can actually call from the device. You can view all your contacts and you can pair it with devices. All right guys, so I have this on my phone and I have my watch on. So if I play it, it plays on my watch. Now, this is all the way up. It's not playing from my phone, only the watch. The speaker on this is actually very amazing. You can't even get a good speaker like this for $7 on Amazon. And if you go right here, while the music is playing, you can pause it, and you can play it, and you go to the next song, and previous song, and change the volume. So let's try playing a Lonely Block video through it. Alright guys, so in conclusion for this video, 
The $7 smartwatch is actually an amazing deal. It comes in a small box like this, and it was fairly damaged. Did not have tape, so it just slid right open, but it does have all the specs on the back. If you guys want this watch, I will leave a link in the description. I recommend that you go buy yourself one of these watches instead of a $200 watch like the Asus Zen watch. Personally, I like the $7 smartwatch way better than the Asus Zen watch. Alright guys, so that has been another unboxing review video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. So if you can, show some support on this video. And tell me guys that you like the unboxing videos. Because this is the type of video that I like really enjoy doing. Also, leave your suggestions for future videos in the comments. Please leave a like. Subscribe. Let's aim for 300 by next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. They don't taste similar. Uh, get a, get a piece of my bag. Oh yeah.